Oh my god. Okay. Um, it's been so long. Hi, you guys. Bear with me. I'm still trying to get used to it. I haven't spoken to a camera in a very long time. Hello, I'm back. Today's video is gonna be a chatty get ready with me. I got invited to a makeup lunch, a pixie makeup lunch. So I thought I'd film myself getting ready because I haven't done that in a while and take this opportunity to update you guys because I haven't been around for a very long time and a lot has happened since 2016 and I feel like I should be a little bit more personal on my channel to you know whoever who cares at least you know what let's get started I've already prepped my skin already moisturized put sunscreen on because it's, it's daylight outside um, I'm gonna start with Duck Cosmetics primetime face primer Hydra Boost. I'll be color correcting with my trusty NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette. This one's been with me forever. So yeah, I'm just gonna color correct my duck circle. It doesn't look that bad today for some reason, which is great. I think the last one that was truly, truly active on YouTube was when I, I guess, like started out. I joined Beauty Bound Asia, the first one. But a lot has happened since 2016 and I don't know, it's been a rough couple of years. I hope I don't sound too dramatic. Uh, before that, I'm using foundation by Duck Cosmetics as well. This one's in the color Macadamia. They have like in total six colors, which is a little limiting. Um, Macadamia. In my opinion, it's a little too light for me. The second color, Almond, is a little bit too dark for me. So in hindsight, I should probably mix them up because I do have like the whole six colors. But I'm lazy. Basically, 2016 was a pretty tough year for me personally. Uh, I was hit with pretty bad news. I quit my full-time job mm -hmm, after a year of working and also um, ended a long-term relationship as well. So I was going through it. I was depressed for like about a year. Went to therapy a couple of times and that really helped. I decided to continue my studies. Decided to apply for a master's program in visual communication in UITM, Alam. And I didn't know what I wanted to do. I just know I wanted to do something creative. I know I wanted something artistic get straight to my brows i'm using the tartlet palette i think one of my sister's friends gifted this to her bless that friend because i've been using this tart palette forever for my brows and for other things because it's just a really nice combination of matte colors and like about architecture i just knew i just knew that i didn't want to do it don't get me wrong, like architecture was a very crucial time in my life. I learned a lot about myself. I guess it was because I was struggling so much. I, I struggled. I struggled through um, architecture school. I was never like the, the good kid, the top 10 kid. No, I was like average or like below average, I think. But like my pointer was that bad, honestly. But like I struggled, I struggled. I tried my best, honestly. I knew I couldn't really do well in my studio subject, so I really, really like really acing like the written tests or like the written exams because I know that will like carry me a little. I don't think I would give up architecture education ever looking back now because I feel like I learned a lot about myself. I became more sensitive about social issues. All around made me more sensitive to people. I value that a lot, especially learning about like design processes and because it's a lot of research I think, especially when it comes to like design and problem solving that I think I've gotten really good at. Everything that I learned from UM, from doing architecture, I applied when I did my masters and I did incredibly well if I do say so myself. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to like toot my own horn, but I did pretty well. And now I've graduated 
masters during my masters um i didn't really do much i just concentrated on my studies um really enjoyed my time i got to meet um a lot of like local artists they were like really inspirational and through studying and and meeting people in uitm doing my masters i was just like i kind of really want to do art now i'm gonna do the rest of my face first and then i'm gonna go back to my eyes for my face i'm gonna be using duck cosmetics again this is the glow the you glow girl palette bohemian tan so i'm gonna bronze my face using the coconut cabana color i'm not gonna do like intense contouring or whatever because i already so it's really hard to pack it makeup while you're already in your video so i'm just gonna do like a light shading across my face just to give it some dimension not too heavy just don't want my face to look flat where was i going with this? so yeah my masters and then in like last year i i, I was engaged for a bit uh-huh mm -hmm. and then and then i'm not engaged anymore so personal life has been a lot of detour basically i'm fine i am fine i'm doing much better emotionally and personally now i think i'm trying i think that's all we can do just try anyway i'm just gonna do a light wash of dandelion by benefit smells really amazing and then i did like a solo trip to australia on my own i've never been in a different country all alone by myself meeting new people making new friends it was an amazing time in my life i took like that two weeks off and just like traveled i think i'll insert like a couple of clips or pictures and stuff oh my god the only gripe that i had was spending time there and not filming or recording much of my experiences if i wanted to i could have vlogged but i didn't because i was just like trying to be in the moment i remember like before like the night before i had to fly home i was crying because i was like looking back at my camera i brought my camera and there weren't many pictures or videos and i was just like full on regret so i had to get back so that so that i can film again because that was a really special time in my life anyway I think I'm gonna use Rena Beauty's Wonderless palette. Um, the event that I got invited to has like a rose gold theme. This palette is rose gold themed. I really love this palette. Thank you so much, Rena Beauty, for always giving me stuff. I love you guys' this stuff so much. A lot of people say that the shimmers aren't intense enough, but like, I think they're like shimmers for every occasion. Sometimes you don't need too much sometimes you don't need shimmers that pack too much punch that's my opinion though it's a very nice really good palette for everyday wear okay i don't know when the camera stopped filming but um i basically took this color of memory all over my eyelid and then i took rusty in the sockets just a really nice transition color i really like this color anyway i did a lot of traveling this year went to australia went to krabi with my family it was really nice but now that things have like you know settled down and stuff and i'm just waiting for my convocation and i'm in another transitional period i feel like life has forced me to be alone for a little bit to deal with my demons okay that's a little dramatic but like you know what i mean like you gotta you just gotta deal with like the personal stuff that you're dealing with because i feel like sometimes when you like you, you, you keep yourself busy it's nice it's a good distraction you're being productive but oh, i've had to really deal with myself you guys i don't know how to say it career wise relationship wise i'm in a lot of turmoil emotionally i'm gonna be using this color diary and it is i hope it's gonna match some of the flowers on my shirt inside i think that'd be really cute oh let's talk about social media 
I've been in hermit mode since uh, things I went through uh, mid last year. I was going through some stuff. My failed engagement. It's just so odd to tell myself that, dude, you were engaged. When I really look deep inside myself, I, I'm not ashamed of it, you know, like things happen, you know, it should happen sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't, doesn't, things just don't work out, and that's totally fine. I'm turning 26 this year, I'm a lot closer to being 30 than I was last year. All my friends, not all, like most of them were already like married, and they're like, getting kids and they're, they're making money you know and I'm like I'm still in that transitional period I'm still trying to figure things out I'm trying not to be too harsh on myself but being online and being on Instagram where, where everyone like everybody knows that Instagram is it's a very airbrushed look into our lives no one's gonna post a picture of them sobbing in their um, bed crying a lot, not having a full-time job yet, you know? Yeah, Instagram has been making me feel really crappy and I'm not going to deny that. It makes me feel like a failure basically and that is, is just what it is. I think I'm gonna mix Enchanted and Gleam together and pop it right in the center. To line my eyes, I'm gonna take maybe jet lag and just sort of smoke out the lash line. Make it look a little cute. Also, did you guys know that I had 2,000 subscribers? Like, what? For my lashes, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put on these ones. I don't, they, they, I don't know the brand of this, but I got it for five bucks. Let me tell you this place, inshallah. Um, it's called Cosmetics Cafe, Section 7. My good friend Q brought me there for the first time. So these shops sell these beautiful lashes. They also sell Elise lashes for like 10 ringgit a pair. Um, I think if you live around Subang Jayu or you live around uh, Sha'alam, I think you should just pop by. Okay, so I'm gonna tell Wow, my eyes look huge. You guys, this is scary. This is so scary. For mascara, I'm using Duck Cosmetics Lush Lash Mascara. I'm using this on my lower lash line and also on my top just to like blend the lashes together. Now that my eyes are done, what do you guys think? Is this a bit much? You know what? Whatever. It's an event. I'm supposed to be a little extra. Gonna reapply my dandelion blush. Put it center. Bring it up. Blush it pretty close to my under eyes. I don't know what color. I know that when it comes to like events and pictures and stuff, bright lips always look better on me. Maybe this one. Or maybe this one. Wow, my lips are really dry. I'm so sorry. Ooh, so cute. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Pina Colada. Um, do I love the highlighter? No. I like it, but I'm not like obsessed, and that's totally fine. Should I keep the C drop style? I'll be back. Oh my god, I'm doing it. I'm being trendy. Look, I got hair clips on my hijab. You know how that's a trend? I think I'm gonna head out now. I'm gonna bring you guys along to see what it's like to attend a media event. Whoa, fancy! <laughs> Hey guys, 
I am at the Pixie makeup launch with Watson. Came here a little late. Missed pretty much half of the entire event. But I made a new friend. This is Hi, I'm Sa. Yeah, and she does like awesome um, special effect um, makeup on her Instagram, yep. which I'll link. I'll, I'll put it here so you guys can check her out. She's amazing. She's so cute. I'm so glad I actually met her. Good. Um <laughs> for sticking by thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers um, and thank you so much for like listening to my whole my whole rant my little life update thank you for reaching the end of this video and I'll see you in my next one hopefully super super soon okay bye bye let's go